night in my dreams. I see you, I see you. That's how I know you go on. I say that's how I know, that's how I know you go on. Oh no! There she goes again with that singing. Oh my, it's She's terrible. got good taste in cookies, but not in music, I'll tell ya. Yeah, you're right, the music is terrible. Yeah, she's gonna need some singing lessons, I think. Oh well, let's just eat her cookies and go. Zanep show is late. I wonder where she could be. Oh, probably out there somewhere with Jack. <laughs> I'm sure she'd be really mad at me if I started the cookies. Well, before she got home, that is. Uh, she really enjoys baking cookies, and come to think about it, so did I when I was her age. You know, my mom used to bake bread when I was a kid. I used to take a small piece of dough from her and make biscuits. I used to call them Miriam's biscuits. <laughs> Oh, I wonder where everybody is. It's so quiet around here today. Did they did they go on vacation or something? Oh, I even missed that mean old raccoon. I bet he's out on the lake fishing or something. Oh my, why am I all alone today? Maybe I should just take a nap or something. I am too old to go hiking or walking walking around the lake and stuff like that, so I better better just go and take a nap. That'll do me good and then I then I can kinda wait and see if anybody comes back from vacation. Uh, oh, oh. Jack. Well, hello there, Zineb. Uh, I've missed you all day. Where have you been, huh? Where have you been? I've been missing you all day, huh? Oh, what's wrong with Zineb, I wonder? Hope she's okay. That's not like her to come by and say hi and just keep walking on by. I don't know. I hope she's okay. Hey there, Jackie. Huh? Heard you're gonna have a few guests huh? staying over there in the barn, huh? Uh, what? What, what? What? No. Not that I know. Of nothing. I don't know anything. Did you invite your family no, again? No, not my family. I think it's going to be your family, Jack, the new one, huh? What? My family? I, I don't have a family. What are you talking about, Raccoon? Well, what I heard is uh, they're bringing in all these new animals to stay in your barn. What animals? And why don't, why don't, why don't I know anything about it, huh? Well, goats and kids and stuff like that. But I do know it's going to probably get kind of crowded in the barn there. Don't they know it's my barn, my barn, my you know, barn? I'm already looking for a place for myself right now. If uh, I don't find a place on my own, maybe we can join together and find a place and be roommates like that. You know, we could share the rent, the utilities, because it won't be easy for a donkey like you with big ears and stuff to get through doors, so we have to find a nice big barn. I think we can work it out. What do you say there, Jackie boy? Roommates forever? What do you say, huh? Oh, 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 I was born and raised in this barn. I can't live anywhere else. This is, this is my... <laughs> well, you gotta do oh. something. This barn's just not big enough for all of us there, Jackie. Oh, how can they, how can they do this to me? I've, I've always been a good donkey to Miriam and Zinap and Marat and everything. Everybody. I've never been a problem donkey. I've done every everything they've always wanted. Why would they even think of doing this to me? I don't understand it. I don't... Oh, what what am I going to do? I'm going to be all alone. Out, out, out on the... Out, out on the... Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to be afraid alone. Why would they do this to me? Why, raccoon? Why, why, why? Oh... Oh, 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 what am I going to do? When I add nuts, they'll oh. be ready to bake. All right, then. Uh, well, there oh. you are. So oh. how was your day? I mm. guess it was okay, Mom. You're kind of late, honey. Where were you? Oh, I was just out thinking. Well, what happened? Oh. What's wrong with you, honey? Look, I have a surprise for you. Legendary uh, Zanep cookies. Oh, well, thanks, Mom. They sure do look good. They should be ready in just a few minutes with a warm glass of milk. Oh, uh, well, thanks, Mom, but not right now, okay? Well, all right, darling. Oh. Something is bothering her. Is she sick? She doesn't look sick. Maybe she'll be okay after a few cookies and a big glass of milk. I hope so. What was that proverb? A goat on a tree must have a kid watching the branches. But I know what a goat looks like, but what, what does a kid look like? Oh, oh, Zinep, yeah. Zinep will try to help me. I know it. She's my friend. She's my friend. She'll talk to Miriam for me. I just know it. Hey, oh, Jack, oh. I have a question. 
question for you. For me? Okay, what is it, Zineb? Go ahead, you can ask me what anything. What does a kid look like? A kid? Oh, oh no, she's gonna, she's gonna tell me about the people moving in my barn, I bet. Okay, okay, here we go. A kid and a goat, it's a hyperactive animal, long hair and horns, and that, oh, that's it. Oh, how sweet! Oh, oh, they're gonna wear you out there, Zineb. Oh, that's totally oh. fine, Jack. You know how much I really love animals. Oh, oh, you know, animals need a lot of care, food and water, and especially baby animals. They're always hungry. You always have to give them attention. Mm -hmm. Never stops. They always cry. Oh, I cry. can take care uh -huh. of them. And you know, with giving them all that attention and taking care of them and feed them and water and all that stuff, you'll never have time for yourself. You know, that is some alone time. You know what I mean there. Oh, really? Well, Zineb, you do know you can't play with kids, right? Why? Oh, well, because they have horns, and really, really sharp horns, and they might poke you or something, and that, that would really hurt. And besides that, oh. you can't ride a goat like you can a donkey like me. You do know that, right, Zineb? And you also know they can't play soccer with Moran. They have horns. They could poke holes at all the soccer balls, you know? So mm -hmm. then a kid is a little goat. So why all the question about goats and kids and stuff, huh, Zineb? How come? Well, listen... A goat on a tree must have a kid watching the branches. What does that mean? A goat in a tree and a kid with branches and branches with goats and kids and stuff. I I don't know. That's kind of confusing to me there, Zineb. Well, why would you want to know what a goat and a kid does with a branch in a tree and watching all that stuff? I don't know. I don't know. But I do know that goats do climb trees to eat branches and limbs and leaves. But the kids, I don't know too much about kids. If I were you, I would probably go ask your mother, Miriam. She knows all about goats and kids and animals and farms and barns and donkeys. She's pretty smart when it comes to animals. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I guess she should have probably thought about that before she invited all the animals to live in my barn. I guess she probably knows now. It's not going to be easy. Lots of care coming into taking care of goats and kids and animals. Oh. Hey, Murat, I'm really ready to go home. I'm kind of bored now. What do you say? Let's get out of here. Hold on, man. Whoa, look at this rod. I told you this was the best rod ever. Wow, man. This rod rocks. I knew it. Uh, you gotta be kidding, man. That's nothing. You should see the shop we have in the city. Lots of big fishing stuff all over the wall. Rods and reels and hooks and jigs and all kinds of... All kinds of fishing stuff, you know, man? Uh, oh, really? Well, how long was the longest one? How long, you know? Uh, they're so, so long they can even catch whales. Yeah. They can catch whales and sharks and salmons and all kinds of fish, uh-huh. A whale? Are you kidding me? No, I'm serious. I'll have to take you there someday. Uh, uh, hey, there's the nap. I wonder what she's doing. Huh. Uh, what are you doing here, sis? Uh, I hope it's not time to go home. Because I, cause I can't, you know? I got a hundred fish to catch. At, at least a hundred fish to catch, yeah. A hundred fish? What are you going to do with a hundred fish? <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do with a hundred fish? It's simple, you know? I'm... I'm gonna make fish hats. Well, you know, uh, catfish, salmon fish hats, blowfish hats, goldfish hats. I'm gonna open my own store, Marat's Fish Hat Store. Wow, you're gonna open up a fishing store? That is so cool, Marat's. <laughs> uh, uh, why are you laughing? What are you laughing at? Marat's not gonna open up a fish hat store. He can't even catch a hundred fish or anything. <laughs> so what are you talking about then? Snap, if I were to. Catch a hundred uh, fish. Do you really uh, think I would make uh, a hat store, a fish hat store? No, of course not. Oh, whoa. Hey, I, I think I got one, man. I, I think I got another fish. Whoa, <laughs> here he comes. Yeah. Ooh. You always do that to me, Murat. You always laugh at me. I'm never going to talk to you again. Plus, I'm going to tell Mom what you did to me, and you're going to be in such Whatever, trouble. Whatever, be quiet. Oh, and I'm also going to tell her that you were up till 3 o'clock in the morning watching TV. You better not. You better not, Zineb. Oh, you'll see. You'll see, Murat. Zineb, I'm warning you. You better not, man. Well, you better you know not. what? You should have never left at me then, okay? Oh, yeah? Well, why are you here anyway, huh, Zineb? Why do you think? Uh, She's here to bug us, Nizzy. No, uh -huh. I came here to ask you a question, but never mind. Okay, what's your, what's your question then? I don't want to ask you anymore. Huh? Come on, Zineb, what's, mm -hmm. what's the question, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll ask you my question, but mm -hmm. you guys both promise that you're okay, not going to me. A goat on a tree must have a kid watching the branches. What does that mean, you guys? Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> See? You're laughing again. I just knew it. I'm never going to tell you anything again. I'm leaving. All right, hey. we're sorry. Sheesh. Uh, come back. I'll try to help you. Uh -huh. uh, okay, a goat and a kid. Yeah. Uh -huh. I get it. Oh. Uh, goats and mm. sheep have uh, a lot in common. You know, mm. they're both uh, animals, and uh, mm -hmm. they're both uh, have long yeah. hair, and well, they're both stubborn. 
So, yeah, that makes sense. So that's the answer. Uh, oh, yeah, I know what a goat looks like, too, you know. You know something? I don't think you know anything about anything. I'm just going to go ahead and leave now. This is just pointless. i got to finish my report. What are you talking book report? It's summertime, Zanep. <laughs> yeah, summer. My mom doesn't give homework in the summertime. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she say she saves the homework for the school time. That's right. <laughs> say what was that? Uh, what was that proverb again, Zanep? Okay, a goat on a tree must have a kid watching the branches. Piece of cake for smart guys like me. You know, I kind of get it. You know, because when you think about it, a goat likes to mess around with trees, likes the branches. You know, likes climbing up trees. And well, if there's a kid involved in the picture, you know, he looks out for the watchman. You know, in case the watchman comes, the kid warns the goat. You know, that's kind of. The way it goes in life, man, you know? I, I understand life. I'm just a kid, but I get life, you know, man? Oh, come on, Murat. You're just making that up. Well, I don't know, man. You try something, then. Okay. Goats, they climb up the trees, mm-hmm. and the kids are too small, mm-hmm. so they have to stay on the ground and watch watch their parents eat. That's what, it, that's what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? Uh, no, but, you know... I can I can check it out on the internet so I can prove it to you. Well, thanks, but I'll try to find it myself, okay? You see there, Nizzy? You don't know any better, man. You don't know any better than any of us know <sighs> it, man. Well, you know, my answer's better than your answer's, Marat. Yeah, so there, huh? Yeah, Albert Einstein? Well, go check online first. I will, and I bet I'm right. Huh? A goat on a tree must have a kid watching the branches. A goat on a tree must have the kid watching the branches. Oh. <sighs> I really wonder why Zanep is treating me like this. I don't know if she she still likes me. I've always been her friend. Now she's got goats and kids to think about. I told her it was not, not going to be easy. But I don't know what she's thinking. I've always been her loyal friend and donkey. Why would she be mean to me, huh? Why would she be mean? I've never done anything bad to hurt her. She better just be nice to me. Oh. cookie. All right. We're done here. Mmm, they smell delicious. Oh, could you please take these cookies over to Nejla, darling? No, I can't, Mom. Not right now. Uh, oh, well, why not? Oh, well... Uh... Okay. Oh. Would you like to have a glass of milk with some cookies? I'm sure it'll cheer you up. Oh. Now, here you go. Mm-hmm. Now talk to me, honey. Oh. You look so unhappy. What's bothering you? Come on, tell me what's wrong, honey. I'm okay, Mom. Don't worry. Oh, are you sick, honey? Uh, no. Well, did something happen oh. at your teacher's house? Did you have a disagreement with Miss Oh, Z, no, huh? Mom. Then tell me what's going on. Well, Mrs. Uh-huh. Nejla gave me some homework. Uh-huh. Well, we read the story together, and in that story, there's a proverb. A goat on a tree must have a kid watching the branches. So Mrs. Nejla asked me to write a report on it by tomorrow, and I don't know what I'm going to do, Mom. I don't understand mm-hmm. it. I don't know. I'm so confused. Is that what's bothering you? and Izzy don't know the answer. Jack has no idea either. Nobody knows the answer. I don't know what to do. Dad would help me if he were here. I know it. Mm-hmm. I know it. He would. He would also kiss your cheeks and smell your hair. Your daddy loves you. You know that, don't you? And he would also tickle you like this. Stop, 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 (laughs) Tickle, tickle, tickle. Stop, 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 please stop, stop, You think your daddy knows everything, (laughs) don't you? You sweet, silly little thing, you. (laughs) Oh, come on, Mom. Why didn't you ask me? Zanep, I might know the answer. Well, Jack told me to ask you first. I wish I had. I wish I had. Well, good for him. He deserves an extra bunch of clover. (laughs) Zanep, do you remember your great grandma? Well, barely, grandma? really. The only thing I remember is that uh, she used to tell us stories mm-hmm. and stuff. Well, yeah, she did. She also taught me how to knit and how to sew and, oh, so many other things. God bless her. I miss her so much. She was mm-hmm. such a great woman. I bet you do, Mom. She's your granny's mother, right, Mom? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she is. Let me tell you a story. 
Once upon a time, there was a very old woman who had a really big crowded family. But Mom, what does this have anything to do with my assignment? Honey, just wait for the end of the story. Now, she had a real large family. She had lots of daughters-in-law and grandchildren. Uh, I really still don't get why you're telling me this story. Just a little patience, honey. You know, you might uh, even learn something from this little story. Okay, okay. And they had everything they needed. Food and clothing and, well, everything. Yeah? Now you see, the oldest daughter would prepare the dough, the middle one would bake it, and then, the, you know, the youngest one, she'd serve it to the old woman. Oh. Just like that. One of the grandkids oh. always watched them bake all those goodies. Then she would go out and pretend to bake for the dogs oh, and the sheep. Well, that sounds One nice. day, when they were getting ready to prepare the dough for the bread, that watchful grandchild yeah. asked for some dough. Her mom said no, because she was too young. But when the girl looked so sad, her granny gave her a piece of dough to cheer her up. And it worked. The girl oh. was thrilled just well, with that little bitty piece of dough. Well, what would she do with that? Well then, uh, what do you think she did? She made one of the most delicious cookies with cinnamon and everything on it. Well, I sure do love cinnamon, you know that. Uh -huh. Then she baked it right along with the bread. She waited right there until it was done. And she was so anxious, of course. Finally, they opened the door to the oven. Well, her cookie looked beautiful and smelled absolutely delicious. She took it to Granny. Uh, well, did she like her cookie and stuff? Was she impressed? What did she say? Well, of course she did. She loved it so much, she even gave it a name. She called it Miriam's Cookies. And from then on, whenever they baked breads, they'd let her bake cookies because the entire family loved her cookies so and much. And then, one day, this girl grew up and became a mom herself and baked cookies for her kids, and they loved the cookies. And then, oh, well, end the story. No, not yet. Oh. Then Miriam's uh, little daughter baked such delicious cookies. Everyone loved them even better than her mother's cookies. Her mom <laughs> called them Zeneb cookies or something? I don't mean to boast or anything, but we're all good cooks. I'm looking forward to tasting my grandkids' cookies. Mom, don't say that. Well, what's so wrong with that? I'm sure they're going to be great cooks, too. Oh, now I totally get what that proverb means. If goats can climb up trees, then kids can too, but when they are ready. Yeah, and if they study and practice, they can even climb higher. Oh, thank you so much, Mom. I wish I had talked to you before. Everybody else. That's all right, huh? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Since the puzzle's been solved, maybe we can eat some of those Zanep cookies. You know, when I grow up, I'm going to open up a bakery and sell Miriam and Zanep cookies. People will just absolutely love them. What do you think, Mom? That would be awesome. Huh, I think I'm going to be a baker when I grow up. Cookies and cakes and cookies. 
and up cookies and up cookies. Cookies and up cookies. Good. And cakes and cookies and cakes and cookies and cookies and cakes and cookies and cakes and cookies 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 and